Topping your news tonight, Gita is ready to move forward with an $11.5 million project to resolve ongoing flooding down in Tumon. But as PNC's Betsy Brown reports, there could be some environmental concerns with the current plan. There's no doubt Tumon has a flooding problem. But environmentalists are questioning the Guam Economic Development Authority's plan to mitigate the issue through a culvert system on Fujita Road. Of five options considered, Gita found the culvert was the only financially viable plan. Guam Visitors Bureau Chairman Mark Valdiga supports the proposal. GVB has been working very hard at raising the quality and raising the image of Guam. We absolutely cannot have tourists wading through knee-deep waters if we really want to be anything other than a third world destination. But while the tourism industry may be in support of the proposal, other stakeholders say it causes environmental concerns by sending stormwater directly into Tumon Bay. Freshwater input, freshwater itself changes the salinity of the water that a lot of these animals live in. Also, usually the runoff here is cooler than the uh, ocean water, so you have the thermal changes going on that some of these animals are not Fond of. Not speaking specifically about this project, Department of Agriculture wildlife biologist Brent Tibbetts told PNC directing a high volume of stormwater into the ocean can also cause undesired algae growth. There are alternative options. Island Girl Power Executive Director Juanita Blas has helped resolve flooding in Assen and Petey, and she suggests putting rain gardens throughout Tumon. The reason why we're having this over flooding is because Tumon is concrete. They never allowed for the water to go back into the ground. And we need to start thinking of that kind of mediation, getting these business owners to man up and take care of the environmental concerns that are happening to Tumon right now. Baldiga says the system Gita is proposing would filter out trash and other debris before stormwater enters the bay. He also points out that the project has the support of the U.S. and Guam environmental protection agencies. Betsy Brown, PNC News.